There are a great number of storylines to this matchup, supremacy in the SEC Western Division, but all of that takes a backseat, not only because it's senior night here at the barn, but because they're closing this venerable building down. No one building has met as much to one conference in just two years as Barnhill has met to the Southeastern Conference. Tonight, they close it for the final time. 7-5, and they are 3-0 and against the Tigers since joining the league. All of them have been very good games. I had the earlier game, Derek, in Baton Rouge, close until the wire, and the Tigers ran out of gas as Arkansas once again just was able to use its bench to a great extent to win. Clarence Caesar, who played well here a year or two, get the ball up the court and attack the hoop. Williamson knocks it home. Corliss Williamson starts out with a zone look Darrell Hawkins knocks it down good finish no worse than tied for second in the SEC West Warren Lynn who is a magnificent three-point shooter senior from nearby Tulsa think he motion riding on that shot he took this half-court game is really going to help a guy like Dirk Hamick and also Maurice Williamson Paul Williamson now he switched he's gone back to the man and Shepard Makes good use of the matchup. It's a good move coming off that screen right into the free throw lane. Brandon spots up for three. I still think that's another color. They don't blink. This game is pretty quick, isn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> Great game. Good pass inside. Daryl Hawkins again making his Coach Brown uses his bench. Will be very important in this game. McDaniel gets away from Brandon. Nice job. Good spin move by Clint McDaniel. Sure. Hammock going down on the floor to pick that ball up and get the finish on it. Clint McDaniel is fouled. Count it. Just a terrible mistake by Paul Johnson. And at the forward position to be able to create those shots those situations on defense. Jamie Brandon from the wing ties the game at 22. They open this game up. A lot of dribbling there. Shepard. A one-on-one -on -one move. Outstanding individual effort. As long as Arkansas could minimize the shot attempt by LSU. <laughs> Icicles coming down from that range. LSU's extended their defense a little bit higher. Williamson fouled by Anderson. Because he had two defenders in his face. Thurman. Look out. A major league run may be in the offing before. Oh, that's a great pass. Thurman to Corey Beck. Crowd wanted a foul on Scotty Thurman, but didn't get it. But Scotty stayed with the basketball, able to get that shovel pass down low for the layout clock. Beck to Crawford. There's that bench again. So if they swing the ball quickly to get shots close into the basket, Stewart will follow. And that is what happens when you overplay. You are susceptible to being backdoored if you have someone who has quick feet. And the intermission. That's going to be very, very important. But in order for LSU to do that, they're going to have to look to get the ball inside as well as outside. That time, McDaniel just running his defender through screens. McDaniel for three. <laughs> that is a very difficult pill to swallow for LSU as McDaniel nails the tray. They're trying to send out Barnhill with a coronation in the first half and in the second half. I think the emotions are still riding. Thurman for three. Williamson on the offensive board. Williamson nice splits job. the double team, finds Hamick. Oh, that's big time. <laughs> that is big time. That's playground basketball at its best. Maurice Williamson gets it. Both avenues cut off, and he goes right between them. Williamson over Hamick. That's a freshman. Nice job using his Five, body. 38, just underway, second half. Hawkins is open. Give credit to Robert Shepard for splitting the defense. Arkansas is not showing patience to try to utilize the clock. LSU turns it over too quickly. 
Williamson to Shepard. Oh, oh. Outstanding passing by Arkansas Razorbacks, finding the open man, the big guy, Corliss Williamson. Hamick answers on the other end, 61-47. Good Hamick ponders who he might bring in. Stewart with a turnaround. White Stewart's first two. It's a good job by Arkansas to attack inside, which is what you have to do. Your shot's not falling from the outside. Get it inside on the block. Hammock is a veteran player, and with 10 minutes left, Brown may have to stay with it. Mo Williamson knocks home a three. That's confidence. Nice shot by Mo Williamson with two defenders. Hammock loses it. Now it's numbers for Shepard to Hawkins. It so they can get the wide open shots. Hawkins finally gets one on the wing. That's a two pointer just inside the arc. Give Corey Beck credit again, splitting the seams on the defense. Jamie Brandt. Tigers settle back in that zone again. Beck finds the avenue and puts it in. That's a good shot by Corey Beck, splitting the seams of the defense, getting inside and looking to score instead of bringing the ball back out. Oh, that's a. Tremendous rejection by Biggers. Thurman to Shepard. Fouled by Owen. Yourself, Tim. I'd love to have played in this building. Williamson. Now they're finding a seam now in that zone. I think if Corliss Williamson started the season and played the way he's playing. Point lead for Arkansas. Hanson for three. That's a sweet shot as he spots up. A good standstill. That's the whole oh. hey, The Biggers. Timeout, LSU. And the party's on at their beloved barn. Look at this hole in the defense, finding it right at the top. Nice pass down low for the great finish. Bring it home. We'll be back after these messages. Take that. <laughs> That's a two-pointer as Remack stepped inside the arc. What he was supposed to beat while not having an impact W against the top 25 team. The barn has officially closed. 88-75, the final score. Great game on the defensive end by Arkansas. Got taken out of sync a little bit with half-court defense, defensive zone. But look at those two coaches. I'm really proud of what they've done for their programs this year, both in what should have been rebuilding years. Yeah, we're talking about four NBA players, three first-rounders, and Shaquille O'Neal, uh, arguably <laughs> since Michael Jordan, the most influential rookie in the NBA, and look what Coach Brown has done.